Was this a shopping trip with a sinister goal? Maybe I could have done something different, but then I wouldn't probably be sitting here talking to you. At a Bunnings in northwestern Sydney, these two men are alleged to have bought supplies used in the abduction of former Test cricketer Stuart McGill only hours later. One of them is alleged to have been at the Brunjelli property where Mr McGill was bashed and held at gunpoint in April. We believe that Pacific Islander males were directly involved in the actual kidnapping. Four others have already been charged, including the brother of Mr McGill's partner, Marino Soteropoulos. Police also want to talk to a third man, known as Sonny or Zach, believed to be involved in a drug deal with Mr Soteropoulos. There was an agreement uh, for a transaction you know, revolving around money and drugs. Um, so the drugs were produced, but the money wasn't. Stuart McGill recalled introducing the man known as Sonny to Marino Soteropoulos, but says he had no knowledge of an alleged drug deal between the two men. He maintains he had no involvement, a view which is supported by the New South Wales Police. We consider ourselves to be, you know, the innocent parties in this one. Um, part of hospitality is making sure the room works. We introduce people to people, all the other people all the time. He would have been a soft target in an effort to, to obtain some money. Sonny was last seen in a white Camry with a rideshare sticker on the back. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News, Sydney.